So welcome to the October 17th meeting of the Bristol Planning Commission. And um, let's see. First we go. Minutes and everyone has a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. So, if anyone has any questions or <coughs> discussion, there's a lot in there, you know. I move that we accept the uh, minutes as presented. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. They were good minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good job. I'm on it again. <laughs> okay. Okay, and the next thing on the agenda is um, we've invited um, our new town administrator, Valerie Pickles, to join us and just have a little informal. Would you like Come on up. Sit at the We're table. friendly. <laughs> yeah, we, I don't, we don't really have anything planned. No. <laughs> and um, let's see. I guess. I didn't really plan anything other than just maybe you can introduce yourself. We could introduce ourselves. Um, and then just if anyone has any questions or anything you want to tell us about, you know, what you're thinking about your new job. <laughs> well, I am Valerie Caples, and I don't know any of you except. Okay. Well, maybe we should do that first. Then. So, who would like to start? I'm Bill Brown. Hi, Bill. And say a little bit about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> been Bristol? Yeah, how long, how, long, how long have you been on? Yeah, how long have you been on? And I don't know. Two years? Three years? I don't remember. <laughs> when did you go? How it's long have you been on here? Three and a half years. Three and a half. <laughs> uh, that's about all I have. <laughs> And so I'm Anna Daler. I'm the newest member. So I don't think it's even been a year yet, right, Sue? Is it like last? Yeah, I think so. So new to Bristol and new to the planning commission. So, Just yeah. over a year. It's been over a year. Yeah, I guess it has. Yeah, mm -hmm. time flies. Mm -hmm. Gary Clark. I've been on the planning commission for three and a half years. I live up in the Upper Notch, outside the village. Katie Raycroft Meyer. Um, I don't know how long I've been on the Planning Commission, but less than Everybody you. keeps looking at me. Because yeah. <laughs> you two, and you are the veterans. Um, so if you're three and a half, I think I'm close to five, six, five, something like that. That's <laughs> terrible. Um, I live right in the village, um, across from almost home, and uh, new to the chair position. Um, and it's, it's actually kind of an interesting phase. Ever since I have been on the Planning Commission, we have been going over the, the zoning regs. I started, and the whole time until just recently. So it's like, you know, we don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I see that's on your agenda. <laughs> so. I'm Sue Kavanaugh. Um, I have been on for seven and a half years, I think. <clears throat> um, Yes, and, uh, and worked through the, uh, I was the chair for three years leading up to that, and uh, to now, and up to Katie's chairpersonship, and um, helped to guide the um, updated zoning regulations, and at the tail end of the approval of the town plan five years ago. My name's Bill Sager. <laughs> I've been on... 35 years. My goodness. And uh, I've lived here in the village, uh, but over the years I, I've uh, strongly defended uh, the importance of growing our economy and making the uh, cost of living affordable for our people and the cost of doing business affordable for our job creators. That means limited regulation. But we always seem to find a compromise, mm -hmm. and um, I'm happy that we have. Great. Well, thank you for that introduction. Uh, yeah. So you asked a little bit about myself. Mm -hmm. um, I was the town administrator in 
Waitsfield for 11 years before coming here. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, I was the Planning and Community Development Director for the City of Montpelier for 11 years. Purely coincidental, I don't go in 11 year stints. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prior to that, I was the City Planner for Burlington. Prior to that, I was the Town Planner for Waterbury. And prior to that, I was the Staff Planner at the Rutland Regional Planning Commission. <laughs> so, I'm I'm familiar with the planning process, mm -hmm. to say the least, and economic development, community development, and the the, uh, the challenge of striking the balance. So I appreciate that. I've spent some time uh, getting acquainted with <coughs> Bristol's zoning regulations and the town plan, and also we've been made aware that the town's all hazards mitigation plan is going to be expiring next month. And so on Monday's agenda will be uh, an agenda item to appoint a committee uh, to, uh, to update this, this all hazards mitigation plan. And I think the planning commission, if, you, if it's not already on your radar, I think you'll find some overlap mm -hmm. with some of the things that have been called out in the town plan for strategies, particularly in dealing with floodplain mitigation and, and some of the tools. And I was also uh, just <coughs> happened to find uh, uh, reading information about what's work that the Conservation Commission is doing. And they're also, they seem to be overlapping a bit in terms of their work on, on corridor protection, river corridor protection. And so I think there might be some room for collaboration on, on those things. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the committee structure might look like after Monday, but uh, maybe somebody from the Planning Commission might be interested in, in participating on that. Oh, so you got right to Welcome. <laughs> well, it's interesting that you brought that up because we were, that was something I was going to bring up about following through on an earlier meeting that we had with the Conservation Commission. Mm -hmm. that they did, a student did a presentation on the river corridors, and mm -hmm. we wanted to just follow up with that presentation of options um, and what that might look like mm -hmm. for information. Right, yeah. And if if the town is successful in adopting uh, river corridor protection measures, the, the fluvial erosion hazard overlay district and that kind of thing, then the town could be eligible for the increased, um, I forget what the EREF stands for, Emergency Relief Assistance Fund uh, through the uh, FEMA program. And in, in the event there's another flood event, uh, that the town could be eligible for a 17.5% instead of 12.5% reimbursement from the state. So there would be a financial incentive mm -hmm. and reward uh, for, for doing that. And I, I think there'd be some compelling reasons. I don't know the specifics of uh, Bristol's uh, river quarter challenges just yet, but uh, I'm sure it's a worthwhile thing to look at. They're challenges. Mm -hmm. Worthwhile to consider, but there's also another side. Right, right. Well, it's something that kind of Good didn't advantage. quite wrap up, and we need yeah. to follow through on that. Mm -hmm. um, I think getting information would mm -hmm. be really interesting. Like mm -hmm. as much information as we can get about what are options, what's out there, what are pros, what are cons, all mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Exactly. Um, I feel like we kind of scratched the surface a little bit with that student presentation, but. Um, that's, I mean, personally, that's all I've heard. Um, so, be cool to hear some more. Valerie, what is it <clears throat> that's expiring? Can you say that again? This um, all hazards mitigation plan, it's a five year plan, and it has to be approved by the, the FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency. And it goes through an extensive review process at the state level and then up to FEMA. And um, this plan must be in place. It has to be ultimately adopted by the select board before it goes through the state and uh, FEMA final review process. But this, pl uh, this plan must be in place in order to qualify for FEMA funding and, uh, and other uh, grant programs through those agencies. For any FEMA funding. Correct. Okay. And is this a plan just for Bristol or is yes. it statewide? Uh, just for Bristol. Okay. Do you know if there was a committee that I believe there was together that five years ago or six years plan. ago. Yeah. Yeah. This one was adopted in October of 2011, but the expiration date is in November. 
What happens if it expires? That was going to be my question. <laughs> then, if there's an event, well, if, if there's a if there's a committee in place, and if the process is underway before it expires, then it remains eligible. The town will remain eligible for mm -hmm. funding. So we're protected. Yes. But that doesn't mean we should procrastinate. It just means That's right. Like, right. <laughs> that. And also another thing I noticed in the plan, one of the strategies regarding dam failures is the town planning commission is considering writing writing of water impoundment construction standards into its zoning regulations. The intent of such standards would be to limit the volume of water which could be stored in man-made impoundment and therefore limit risks. So. News to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's why it would be good for, obviously, for yeah. some cross-pollination. Yeah. That. I'm interested to know to what degree does the Planning Commission get involved in the capital budgeting, capital planning process? Not at all. Is that correct, Bill? I'd, as I far as I know. know. We only make suggestions. Yeah. Mm, it's not a if asked, I don't think we've come forward mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. ideas or requests of our own in the past that I can remember, okay. at least in my time, mm -hmm. recent history. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's in your experience with other yes, towns or actually, it, uh, to adopt a capital improvement plan, uh, which is an official document, it's a regular, not a regulatory tool, but it's an official tool recognized through the state statutes, and it's adopted by the select board. It does require planning commission review hmm. uh, and a right. public hearing. Yes. Not, not a planning commission public hearing, but a select board public hearing, and the planning commission needs to be given an opportunity before the public hearing. I, I remember, I was on the Essex Extension yeah. Planning Commission and I do remember doing that. Yeah. So that process is going to start up soon. <laughs> so just put that on your radar. Mm -hmm. And I think the capital plan appears to be laid out primarily through the town report. Mm -hmm. Unless I have, if there's a separate standalone document, I haven't tripped over it yet. Mm -hmm. Any other any questions of me? What are you interested in doing? <laughs> yeah. Besides the sort of day to day work of a, a town administrator, what are <laughs> ideas that you've either talked with the select board about or that are of interest to you, given well, your background? I haven't really had the opportunity to talk with the select board about that very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is week three, uh -huh. and my first select board meeting was last week. Uh huh. Um, I want to help uh, implement the policies of the select board and help uh, support the volunteers and the commissions in the best way I possibly can. I think we all are working toward the same objectives of supporting the community, delivering good public service, working in the best interests mm -hmm. of taxpayers and the businesses and the visitors that come here. Mm -hmm. I did want to thank you for when, when before the select board meeting that you did send everyone the agenda and kind of what you're planning on doing because that's not something that we normally get. And I think it just keeps everybody informed. Well, I'm always saying, let's have joint meetings, but no one ever. <laughs> Wait till Friday oh, when boy. I send out the next one. <laughs> I, I'm still building my contacts so I can have everybody's email. You know, oh, no, okay. that, that, you were the lucky one. I yeah. only had time enough to get the chairs. <clears throat> okay. but, um, uh, so I'm but still I think that's building really important. the contacts. I, 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 I think that's so important because it's just if everyone, it's just things move smoother. Well, that's and, good. And um, if everyone has information, so I appreciate that. I, I, I may tend to err on more information rather than less. <laughs> you pick and choose what you want to, what you want to pay attention to. I am. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's me. Oh. Okay. Um, is there anything else you're curious about uh, about us? I mean, we're we're happy to share, you know, like what we do, or you know, I mean, I think if you what other things are on your horizon? I know it's on your agenda. Um, did you see? Um, oh, I thought sent for a minute. Um, and I'm not going to read them all. We had sort of a brainstorming meeting last okay. time. Um, did I send you those minutes, Bill? Yes, you did. I did. Okay, and. I did want to comment, but you didn't. No. 
Sorry about that. So we kind of went all over the place in, in this brainstorming meeting. It was really, it was great. Um, as I said, this is, you know, the first time for me that we don't have a, you know, something that we have to kind of plow through and get done. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there are things in the offing, but right now it's, you know, we do have some more time. And um, I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but I, I mean, we, we talked about some looking at some pedestrian and bike path development, which has been looked at a little bit before in trail development. And there is a group, I don't know if you're familiar, but there is a group that's working on some trails in Bristol right now. Um, and they're doing a, a great job. And, it's, and actually, they've asked to come to a meeting. So I'm going to have um, the representative uh, come and explain to us what, she's, what they've been working on. They've done some really interesting things down uh, near the, um, the old factory in the mill, down, down on South Street. And basically, you know, sort of not uncovering because the ruins are there, but the foundation, but they're developing some interpretive signs. And um, Kristen knows something about that. Um, anyways, it's, it's really exciting. And there's been, they have a really good turnout of people who wanted to do that, clearing the trails, cleaning up junk and just kind of, you know, sort of exposing some history. So I think that, you know, that's a great thing. Um, we as a uh, board, and, and I would really, this is something that I, I think we need to do is to, to put together a little sort of a guide that would help um, applicants uh, approach the um, process of going through the planning application or going through a, a site plan application because that is a new thing for us. We just adopted site plan oh, wow. um, in this last round. Uh, so it's something that not everyone quite comprehends. So I think, uh, I mean, I, I think we should have just a little how to, what you need to have on your drawing, what you need to, you know, just what kind of information needs to go to the board mm -hmm. so that it's just plus it would help our new zoning administrator yeah. right who was until just a few weeks ago on the board. sitting here with us yeah. right. so this is a new relationship with us yeah. too a lot of first to be there <laughs> <laughs> so that's something that you know that's not a big thing but i think we think it'll be helpful we've also talked about you know now now that we have our our zoning regs how are they working for us? Where do we? Is, are there tweaks we need to make? Are there some changes we need to make? And then how do we? Yeah, you know, how do we pull that together? And how do we? You know. Do that? And then we can talk about the town plan. <laughs> and then we'll move into that. Mm -hmm. But does the regional planning commission, or might the regional planning commission, have any tools that you can uh, adapt from other communities that have site plan review that might have developed some of those things already? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we've worked a lot with Adam. Through all through the zoning regs, mm -hmm. um, as a hired consultant, right? So right. separate from the yeah, I think membership. you know. Once I start looking, I will find it very quickly. Mm -hmm. I think mean, I, I, I'm a landscape architect, so I do this kind of thing a lot. Mm -hmm. So it, so it's very straightforward to me, but it isn't to uh, probably most people. Um, so. And there I are those guys are out there. And there's representatives from Bristol serving on the Regional Planning Commission, <clears throat> yep, which we didn't talk about. All right, Bill, you're one of them, aren't that's, you? That's correct. Yeah, good. We didn't add that, you know, actually it's one of the things that would be great, would be to sort of figure out ways to, you know, sort of talk to you about things either that the Regional <clears throat> Planning Commission has available to us based on certain projects or how we could better use we, in our work, use the tools that are, are made available, mm -hmm. or knowing, you know, besides the emails about their agendas and things like that. The models. Yeah, for, yeah. For all these regulations. Right. And the big thing right now, I think, is that we need more members. I'm glad you mentioned that, because we have two people who recently submitted uh, interest, expressed interest in Great. being on the Planning Commission. I'm going to bring that to the Select Board's attention on Monday okay. and get some guidance on how the Select Board wants to proceed with that. I think, um, does the Planning Commission get involved in interviewing candidates in any way? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we really need, we really need, we need members. I mean, because it, 
it's getting to the point where we can't. We're act. down three. Yeah. Mm, okay. We can't if if we don't have five. Agree. You know, mm -hmm. we need form, and we need to agree. You know, two thirds. We need five. Is that and, correct? And it's also just owning the reality of. Everyone really wants to be here, and we've committed to being here. But sometimes stuff just comes up, like yeah. you're traveling, or you have a work commitment, and right. you can't be here. Mm -hmm. And that's, we don't want that to impede our progress, like being able to actually do it, our work. And it's been a while now, and, it, and it, it's tricky, you mm -hmm. know, because it's like you got to get everybody here if any decision needs to be made. Mm -hmm. um, and we all have to agree. <laughs> I don't know which is harder, getting everybody here or agreeing, but... That's, that's not so bad. No, all right. Yeah. Since March. We, I mean, we, had a, we had a full... I know, but that was, yeah, then we I had was a full thinking. list until March, and so after town meeting, when the usual changeover happens, John stepped down John. and Skimmer stepped, stepped down, and then, and then, and then Chris mm -hmm. has switched since our last meeting. So now we're but down to six. But it's March is a while ago. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. so... And I thought, well, maybe we can change the bylaws and have the planning commission smaller, <laughs> so then we could even more easily get a two-thirds vote. But probably not, right? I would, I would hope that we can get some more members. Yeah, but at least the process for me, because I was the newest member, is that I submitted my interest, mm -hmm. and I think then that just goes to the select board, and they ask you to come and basically kind of do an interview with them, right? Um, right. You know, and then. If they're happy with that, then they appoint you, and then you land. <laughs> and then you meet with the chair. <laughs> so, I'm yeah. hoping that that... Yeah, that, that's great if there's I interest. Mean, that's awesome. Good. Yeah. The more the merrier. Right. I'll be meeting with the chair tomorrow, I hope, and then we can decide whether the select board as a body wants to schedule it for a specific date or actually put it on Monday's agenda. So we'll, we'll see I would encourage goes. Monday's agenda. <laughs> Well, thank you. That's yeah, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Welcome. And thank you for staying late and oh, meeting with sure. us. Sure, I appreciate it. Good yeah. stuff done. Okay. Interestingly, um, one of the things I enjoy most about being now in the town administrator role instead of a planning role, um, did a lot of good things in, in in the planning world, but I have found it very very satisfying to, as town administration because it's it's focused on the implementation side of things mm -hmm. and actually mm -hmm. getting things making things happen and moving things forward mm -hmm. and and uh, so hopefully we've we had a lot of things go you know yeah. in town a lot of changes a lot of development right. and the co housing project right yeah. new water line <laughs> <laughs> new water line yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. not done some bridges yeah. <laughs> fire style station road. Yes. Yeah. Oh, a new style of road. Right in front of your house. Just waiting for the buckboards. Yeah. <laughs> so. a new intersection. It's all, you know, like. Yeah, we've good done, stuff. there's a lot that's yeah. been done in the last you know, 12 years. Yeah. Nice. So. Well, good. Well, on that note, I will leave you to your agenda. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very home. nice to meet you. Like, nice, nice to meet you. you. Too. Thank you again. Welcome again. Thank you. Oh, well, I have a next on the agenda to continue summarize discussion of future PC work, but I do see that we have people in the audience, and I don't know if maybe we should move. Are you guys just listening? Okay, no one is here for a specific. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. So continue, is there anything anyone wants to talk about in terms of follow-up on, on future work? We, we really need to decide you know, what we want to move forward on. Um, has anyone, you know, I, I'm not quite sure how to go about that. Does anyone have any suggestions? I do, um, as I said before, um, Valerie did talk about the the river corridor um, presentation or the river corridor plan that that was presented. I was not there at that presentation. I actually needed to get myself up to speed on that, and I met with Kristen Underwood a few weeks ago just to kind of pick her brain and what you know 
where they are with that, what that um, presentation was about, is there more that we need to hear in terms of what can be done, what other people do, and not a not just as for information that, that I, I think everyone should hear. And you know, what are different options and so I I um, and then I asked um, her well, well I went way back and I said so why are why is this coming forward now? And she said as a board they or as a commission they are responding to what we put forth in our town plan as a goal and so I just then went back and did my homework and it is actually right here <laughs> so that is what they are following up on and and I feel we need to hear the rest of that presentation so that we have all that information and I also asked you for a outline or a summary and were you able to get yeah and I just emailed that to you yesterday which <laughs> sorry yeah, but, yeah um, huh I didn't see it around noon time yesterday so it was very kind of late notice for this meeting I'm sorry I didn't see that but I can no. I brought okay. it and I could share it with you if you like okay let's do that let me make a Copies. photocopy yeah that'd be great thank you, thank thank you. you. Yes. thank you very much So I would like. I think that we should have um, Sasha come and finish her piece because it wasn't completed. That was the. I mean, there was more that she was going to present to us. That it was my understanding from our conversation. Yeah, well, she should be able to make her full presentation because when she came that evening in the spring, she was commenting on the right on the presentation and she had you know resources to offer, but it. It wasn't her presentation, right. it was yes. his. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. And we had scheduled it for a September meeting of the right. board. But we were which all got postponed right. because things were in uh, in transition, I guess yeah. you'd say. And then, um, so we've rescheduled her for November 21st. Oh, so you have that, works. that's going to work then. If that still works, yeah. Okay, so then November 21st. November 21st. Which will be our next meeting. Right? Oh, I guess so. Oh, wow, time flies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm taking minutes. Oh, Chris, I'm taking minutes. Is that, am I supposed to be doing that? All right, so we'll confer. I, I forgot. All right, we'll confer after. Okay, I didn't realize. <laughs> okay, so we just made a, um, yeah. a decision to have uh, November 21st, have Sasha Taylor come back and, and follow up, do a follow up on her presentation. Oh, I can't spell today. Okay. Her name? I don't know how relevant this is, Katie, but I think one of the things I would also be interested in is knowing what have other towns in our county uh, done. I think that's this, very relevant. Um, you know, to sort of see where do we land. What well, we have a lot of difficult issues here. Yeah. We have we have a lot of water. <laughs> we have a, you know we have a very active river, and we have a lot of businesses along that river and a lot of companies yeah. along that river. So it's definitely uh, it's tricky. So I, it would be good if we could actually. Um, try to find a comparable town you know, that has similar situations. There was actually a gentleman from New Haven who came to our meeting, um, but then when he learned that um, Sasha wasn't going to be presenting, he left, but he was interested in hearing her presentation. Mm -hmm. I forget his name. Tim was, Mountain, perhaps? Is that it, Tim Mountain? From the regional planning. Is he? I wondered, because I see him in Middlebury, and I wondered if he's a... Sorry, if he works for them, but, but I think, is it, does that sound familiar? That, he mentioned that he came and then I had forgotten to tell him that she was canceled. Okay. And so he was, okay. 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 So maybe, you know, from an adjoining town <laughs> point of view, it's certainly uh, one that is connected by a river to us. Mm -hmm. I would think New Haven would mm -hmm. probably be of interest, uh, would be interested, and in, perhaps uh, that's his, his interest. I would just mention he works for the Regional Planning Commission and 
is responsible for generating the all hazards mitigation plan that oh. you heard Valerie talk about. So that's the other reason that he was there. So he, yeah, Tom Bowton. Yep. Yeah. O U T O N. Okay. Tim. 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 Um, okay. He didn't. He didn't identify himself as being from the Regional Planning Commission, but he said he was from New Haven. So I just figured he was. Uh, he was on a lands committee in New Haven. That's what he okay. said. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that, in terms of following up on future work. That's pretty concrete. That, that's something. <laughs> we also, you know, we could have committees. You know, we could have mm -hmm. form a committee if someone feels very strongly about researching something and working on something. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would be a way to accomplish some of these things. We're not going to accomplish all of everything mm -hmm. on that, mm -hmm. you know, but if there's something like uh, a topic like the trails or, you know, mm -hmm. maybe coordinating, and it's Porter Knight that wants to come mm -hmm. and do a presentation, and um, I mean, I'm wondering if I ask her that same night. Mm -hmm. I might as well do that, because she wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> yeah, Katie, the other thing that I wondered about was um, the solar siting. Um, sort of, I need to come up to speed with what, um, you know, is the latest at the um, state, level. state level in terms of what we can do to, you know, sort of gain more um, uh, power within, uh, yeah, power within the <laughs> within the process uh, from a from a town point of view, and um, and when that time comes, Bill, you can help us, you know, from the regional planning commission, from that from your work with them, because I know that there was a lot of work done at that level. Yeah. So would, do you agree? Can, yes, I yeah. think it'd be good to review yeah. that. And actually, New Haven is, I think, the first town in the right. state. Is that, do you know about this? Or that that was really yeah. able to reverse a decision that was made. My captain, you know about this, don't you? <laughs> so, but by going through the channels, and but it's through the state, and they had to. I can't talk about it because I don't know it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know all the details, and but I do know that they are one of the, or the first towns in this, or that is one of the first projects that they were basically had to. Reverse it, so reverse the decision, and I'm not sure what's happening. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know where the project is, but I think it might be on Route 7. Is it? I'm not sure. Wouldn't be surprised, that's where all the rest of them are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but who knows, it might have been someplace else, and maybe, maybe that was the objection. I don't know. Yeah, so it's been written about in the, but I, in, it was in Madison Independence so of that. Um, so I'm, I'm actually like pretty gung ho about this sort of how to prepare us, you know, an application. If you're having to do site plan review, I think that'd be actually a fun project. So yeah. if, if, I mean, if we're interested, I'm happy to yeah. just like... Well, I can get, I, I know. I mean, I yeah, have you know all the materials you and yeah. You I think that, that maybe the piece I could contribute is I might be able to make it look good. Yeah. Um, you know, that like... Well, maybe I would be happy to work yeah. with you on that. That'd be cool. Okay. You know, access to nice Adobe software. <laughs> and with that, Chris, too. so right now we have um, an application, let's say for a zoning a permit, um, and it has a checklist that was probably you would consider or we would consider rudimentary. Yeah. Um, so as you're coming to know your work better, you know, I would think that we wouldn't want to you know, we'd want to work together, yeah. obviously, with you to develop something right. that, in yeah. your experience, would be helpful to people to per permit applicants. Yeah. Monday, that was actually part of what I did during the day. I was trying to figure out the um, workflow. Good. Applicant walks in the door. Hey, what? Do, how does that work? Yeah. You know, how, do, how do we? What's the path that they take, and, and how how do we simplify that process? Instead of standing with a blue book, going, "Good luck." Yeah. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. what you guys are talking about is very much in step with what mm -hmm. 
I'm still at the higher level of it. I'm going to the nitty gritty yeah. of how we, what the steps are for each piece. But it is, it's okay, it's a buy right use. Here's, the, you need to fill out this permit, send it off to right. here. If it's a site plan, here's the process. If it's a conditional use, if it's no, if it's not acceptable, what is your, what if any route you have to try to get it to go through? Yeah. So all those, because right now, if you read through the book, you get there. Just, it's not so I think what would be really great is if we had like, you know, like a flyer almost, um, but not that fancy. Or maybe, maybe. Hey, yeah. so, so <laughs> for the, each each category. Yeah. And so then you can, and that will help you with know. other towns. What? And other towns yeah. and cities in Vermont, and, and they're out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I think it's just a matter of taking what they have and actually putting our rules and regs. Yeah. The hard part is a lot of, other towns have um, uh, design review boards, and we mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it, we have to customize it a little bit, but it's very yeah. easy to do. Um, yeah, I don't think that it's going to be. Do we feel like these are things that we could then make available to applicants online? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that, you know, because handing someone a piece of paper sometimes. That piece of paper gets lost. It's really nice when you can say, "Oh, it's also on the website for the town." I mean, I think that that's something that we yeah. can probably okay. pull a draft together by the yeah. next meeting. I, we, yeah, why not? Yeah, um, you know. Okay, I got my jobs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's sort of like really good. Sort of on the ground work that has to be done anyway, mm -hmm. just just literally as a response to the regs, which were I know March seems like a long time ago, but in fact we haven't had that many meetings since then, right. and it's it's and good. Really and we had the transition with Eric, and we had a couple of applications that we had to you know deal with during the late spring and, and summer. So this is the perfect time. So I'm assuming there are no applications in the pipeline. Nothing else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which is amazing. Maybe it is like a, a late winter, early spring thing. Yeah, it, it, most we're coming into winter. Construction typically slows down dramatically this time of year, so. Right. So it gives us a chance mm -hmm. to do that, to really take this moment to sort of set some new things in place and the time to do it. Um, Chris, do you have anything that you inherited? Any checklists or anything? You're not even sure yet, right? Sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. Yeah. Okay. It, it, the hard part is it's Eric's checklist and, yeah. and how he processed right. through and, and, and my brain process is slightly different. different. So, so it's been, I've been trying to customize those to me, what I need to do. And numbers. I think he inherited some of that too. Oh, absolutely. He certainly <laughs> inherited the application. <laughs> and I think I helped create a checklist, but it was, you know, I think it was minimal really at the time. And, and we kept using it even after the new regs went on, you know, into place. So, because it, it's outdated now anyway. Fair enough? That's great, Anna. So I have a specific thing to bring up, and I don't know if this is our within our purview, but um, there is a bunch of junk cars on 116, about a quarter of a mile before you get to Mary's, and there's eight of them. And here's a picture of this. And I've been I looking know, at... I know that property. You do know that? Well, I know exactly where it is on the road. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And I mean, what are our regulations here? I mean, I've looked at uh, Reg 730 and Reg 760. It doesn't specifically address that issue. I think they're collected. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I don't think they're junk, necessarily. Yeah. That might not be how they're perceived. No, I don't think that that is how they're perceived by owner. Yes. <laughs> it's a fine about. line. They make a hard look. <laughs> no, there's, I know. There's eight of them. And, um, well, that's a zoning issue. That is a zoning issue, and that's something that... W what is that, the rule on that, Chris? There, we have some in our zoning, um, very minimal. Yeah. And then we, there's actually a junk ordinance some junk car ordinance in place, yep. you know, and it talks about they can be registered vehicles and things like that. So um, I can look into it later this week. Be be yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent.
Maybe you want to collect a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> that was my suggestion. <laughs> we need a tow truck to move one place, oh. one place to the oh. next. He may look at them differently than you do. I strongly doubt that. <laughs> Actually, I think there might possibly be a state ordinance too, as to the number of unregistered vehicles. Yeah, that's what it is. You can only have so many unregistered. That's what I've learned. Oh, Bill, if he registers all of them, then he might be out of luck. Buona fortuna. <laughs> <laughs> So another thing that I, I'm very interested in is, and you touched on it last meeting, was a closer relationship with us and the select board, in that we get an idea of what their priorities are. It's, it's one thing for us, for me, to talk about a treatment plant that will cost a million dollars, or you know some new sidewalks that cost you know seventy five thousand or whatever, but it would be really helpful, I think, if the select board said, "Well, that's a great idea, but there's just no way in hell we can do that." Rather than well, I think that you know that was um, I don't know, but I think I think many towns do have regular I don't know how often regular, but meetings with their select board to have the big sure, because the long range discussions and we just haven't done that since I've been on the board for whatever reason. I don't I, I can't imagine why we couldn't do that. You know, um, you know It also if, sounds like maybe you want to be on the capital improvement committee. Well, yeah. but the select board eventually, well, that's... Well, that's, 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 that's what, what Valerie was talking about idea. that and asked us. But the select board uh, basically makes the end decision, you well, know, on yeah. what is going to be approved and what is not going to be approved. Well, yes. So, for example, it, let's just say that I spend, you know, a couple hundred hours looking at sewage treatment plants and what they would cost, and we come up with a million bucks, and I don't think that's a crazy number, by the way, I think that's a real number going to be up in, in that area, even higher, thank you. And, you know, you waste your time because it would involve a bond, and it would also involve uh, quite a bit of talking with the citizens of Bristol. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Whether a good they example, want that kind of thing or uh, not. A good example of that is when we decided to um, focus on the our business park, what are we calling that? Mm -hmm. And and that was something that we we had John worked on it and I don't remember who else worked on that. But John met with the select board, met with owners, met mm -hmm. with so there was a lot of overlap because the, and there were other studies that had been done and we he researched those studies. Um, we applied for a grant, mm -hmm. is that correct? Planning grant. A planning grant, but that had to be approved by the select board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we worked in, mm -hmm. you know, together with them for that. The pro you know, a wastewater treatment plan would be a similar thing. It wouldn't make any sense to start doing anything no, unless no. it was a joint I effort I agree. to work on that together. So. Well, and there might be some merit to taking some of our bigger goals from, you know, our minutes from last time, right. things that we keep talking about. And, you know, whether it's you meet with the select board, if it's just one representative rather than a joint meeting, but having a communication to this, hey, you know, like, we're not necessarily wedded to any of the, these ideas, but we're, we think these might be of interest and important, and we're happy to spend some time researching, looking at, thinking about, getting input on, but only if there's agreement between the planning commission and the select board that these are even reasonable or worthwhile goals. Yeah, I agree. And it could turn out that, oh yeah, we've been thinking about that too. And oh, now we're in alignment. Hey, now you have a resource, we could be a right. team. Or it could be, like you said, it's just not going to fly. We have this other bond that's coming up or whatever it might be and that this isn't the time. Mm -hmm. But it's then at least... gesture. I mean, I think it would be easy... It's courteous. You, you like, can <laughs> use, you know, a version of this to share 
you know, general ideas that we have had, or even just to share news formally. I mean, it's one thing for anybody on the select board or Valerie to read our minutes, but it's another thing to go and say, you know, I'm the new chair, I would formally like to, you know, open up a avenue of communication more formally with you. Mm -hmm. Here are some of the things we're thinking about. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about? What are, where are ways where we can work together and we can respond to things you're thinking about or here's what we'd like to eventually bring to you. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah, no, and I just agree. start it, you know? I think right. it would be a really important formal gesture to make. Mm -hmm. And then that addresses your concern, I think. You know, yeah. like, yeah. hey, it's... Yeah. You're happy maybe so to spend some time on something, but not for, not along, for nothing. So along those lines, we should look hard at this list and, you know, maybe right now just kind of, I don't think we need to prioritize it, but a lot of this isn't, you know, but even if we just were able to, like if, even if we were able to put a check mark next to the ones that we think are worth sharing right. with them, period. Yeah. Right. Not, oh, this is our priority one, priority two, but right. just... Right. Well, even if in the meantime, if, if whether a visit to the select board can or does happen between now and our next meeting, you know, to say that we're receiving input on state or river corridor regulation ideas, mm -hmm. it's important to formally sort of, you know, let the select board know that. You know, and if it's no matter what yeah. we do, ultimately it all goes to them anyway. Yeah. And so the sooner they know or, you know, sort of welcome the input that we may give, the better. Same thing if Porter's going to come and present about the, you know, the Bristol Trail Network, then let them know that, that she's coming. It's, right. You know, like it's not... More than... Yeah. Further ahead than an agenda posting. Do they get a copy of our agenda? The agenda gets posted yeah. in public places. I think there might it be. Did get posted, didn't it? Yes. Yes, it did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the best of my abilities. Yes. No, I think it got posted before. <coughs> did you post it? Yeah, I did. Oh, because I called. I thought someone else. I thought Sharon was posting it. No, I have it up on my desk. As as a side note, if you are able to edit the website. Could you fix our listing of the planning commission because it's a little out of date? Oh, nice. <laughs> um, it's not the end of the world, but are you on there? But yeah. I'm on there, but so is John Elder. Yeah. Um, well, and you still are, of course. Yeah. So it's you know, Skimmer probably too. Yeah, and and in your chair, you know, yeah, in your chair. So <laughs> Sue's like, yeah, make that in it. <laughs> um, okay. We'll do. Thank you so much. Um, so do we want to tackle that now? Do we want to do that as homework? homework. Well, go through the minutes and send the list to Katie. I mean, some of these things we've talked about and, you know, we have a plan for. Um, would we meet as a group or would Katie represent us? I think in the past, just as a suggestion, one of the things that when I gave a regular report to them on our progress on the mm -hmm. on the uh, regulations, I would ask to go on the agenda. So I would definitely go as chair, but I would invite everyone to go with me. And so mm -hmm. if anybody appeared, we would mm -hmm. come forward together, but I would speak as chair. And mm -hmm. I would think that that would okay, be the right thing to idea. do. Well, and that way you have backup. So it's like us going to their meeting. Yeah. So it's, you know, rather than a joint meeting as it's at least starting it as mm -hmm. a we go to their meeting and sort of give them an update. And so if we, yeah, so if we sort of pair this down and to one page <laughs> and uh, sure, you know, maybe clarify it a little bit and say these are some of the. Do you want me to group them together? I mean, I did a little bit, yeah, you know, you so you remember. Yeah, you can take some things off, like now we can take, you know, we don't need to put the, the Brochure, the you know the health guide, for the. Um, I mean, like the, the things that we can go ahead and, and comfortably do on our own, because they're necessary. Mm -hmm. That I doesn't need to be on the right. List. Not related to yeah. planning issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more working. Yeah, I would suggest just big 
big picture items mm -hmm. that are outside of your, of your direct uh, I don't know if the trail, the, that is a big picture, but I don't know how much that I think that's a well. well what is what is Porter's interest in meeting with the select board? No, she wanted, I had suggested to her earlier that it'd be great if she came and just gave us a presentation of what they were doing. Yeah. Because um, I went to the celebration um, over the weekend oh, and I learned a lot that I didn't yeah. know. It's so, great. Yeah. And so, it's an amazing project. It's um, really cool. You know, you just know. for, you know. Is it for informational purposes or is there some planning um, uh, task know. that we might need I, to do? I, I don't know. Okay. I will find out. Yeah. My sense is that they could maybe use some support in the sort of as we make a plan for where the trail might go and as we work with maybe, you know, townland versus maybe a right of way with another property owner, mm -hmm. what are the regulations? I think even just sort of looking at the, the, the zones and looking at a map right. and helping that particular body to be more prepared. Yeah, I don't know. They, they have, you know, they've been meeting and they have some long-term view. And uh, I think that, that yeah. at um, some point, we need to be aware and involved. And, yeah. Yeah. And so that's, I think, that it's probably so. just in, introducing it. and In particular, if we're going to be interested in things like, hey, sidewalk, bike path, accessibility, trying to, could we be working on the same goal? Are we stepping on each other's toes? Or are we both trying to do the same thing? That seems silly. Um, so. Okay. Okay, thank you. Do you want me to go back since I have this document and try to organize stuff, or do you want to um, do it like into sort of bigger, maybe to get you know sort of more clear? Well, categories. why don't you? How about you give a first step and then I'll then okay. Can look All right, it. I'll just do it okay. just to you. Okay. okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, and uh, do you want to ask order have. if she would come to the next yeah, have have that. meeting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And are you, do you want to try to see the select board sooner rather than later? Um, well, we want to have this first. Um, when is the next meeting? There, are they like two weeks or once? Two weeks. Okay. So maybe not this Monday, but maybe two weeks from? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it this Monday. No. I mean, that would be, yeah. so it would I, be the 6th. I, I would suggest doing it after your next regular meeting so you can, as a group, can have a very solidified vision when you go in, uh, that's just my So it would be sense. after the 20, 21st. After the 21st. So whatever the next select board meeting is after that. Is it on Monday the 27th? Chris, do they meet every two weeks or the, is it the like the first and third every, Monday? Every other week. It is every other week. It's every other week. All right. When's the next one, do you know? They're on Monday. Monday. This coming Monday? Yeah, the 23rd, the 23rd. So then they'll meet on the 6th, the 20th, <coughs> the, so December, and December 4th. What do you think about that? That's right. All right. Okay. So aim for December 4th. You want to let Valerie know? Yes, I will let Valerie know, but right in the meeting, in the minutes that I will let Valerie know. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So well, you asked, right? Yeah. They're gonna start their budget yeah. stuff like they probably already have, right? Anybody? Um, I don't know. She said that's hard. Yeah, because they have to get ready for the town meeting. Well, and then, um, well, we we do want to have someone on on this committee. I think that she mentioned too. The all hazards mitigation. Yeah. Room? And we need to find out when that's starting. My sense is that they're discussing it on Monday. They're putting the committee together on Monday. That's what I had understood. So Somebody like to be on that, on that committee? Not me. Oops, I'm things around. What? I'm flinging things on the floor, sorry. Um, no takers. Why don't we talk about it after Monday? Okay. We'll know more then. Monday. I, I would. Do you like Valerie to know that you are interested in having somebody in that, on that committee, though? I, th I think it would be I great. I think she was suggesting that we should. Yeah, okay. I think she thinks we should. I think yeah. that if, if we get invited, I think we should accept. So let's find out if we get invited. <laughs> you will. 
I'd be interested okay. to know if they're looking for just members of the general public to volunteer for that also, or if, or if it's very specific. Okay. So, anything else? No. Are we moving right along? Yeah, that's good. You're doing fine. Yeah, okay. That's great. So then, administration, <coughs> administrative matters. I don't think we have any. Do we have any administrative matters? Chris, mm -hmm. how's it going? Is it going great? What is your schedule? My schedule is uh, at the moment. Um, Mondays and Fridays, I'm here all day, and mm -hmm. on Wednesdays, I'm here in the afternoons. Okay. So. Um, I am. <laughs> and that'll be through the end of the month, and then we'll reevaluate then. But it probably will stay very close to that. Oh, okay. Through through October. Yeah, at a minimum through October, because I'm still at Vermont Coffee until the end of the month. Okay. So when you're done with Vermont Coffee, you may keep that same schedule. I may, because I now have another gig. I'm going to be setting up as well. Okay. Good to hear. So Wednesday's morning. Wednesday okay. afternoon. afternoon. At this point, it may switch to mornings depending okay. on what the other zoning okay. job requires. Okay, Monday's good. Friday's good. And then meetings like this. Oh yeah. Including zoning board. Zoning and downtown uh, review. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Anything else on that? Nope. And nothing from the public. <laughs> then I move we close. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay. Meeting adjourned. Good work.